it on guys it is a fine fine super fine day here in southwest pa and in today's episode we are getting to demo a bmw ce4 uh, but before we get into this i do want to give a huge shout out to mercedes motorsports for organizing this whole entire event it's been a fantastic turnout. I'm having a great time. If you're in the Pittsburgh area, come check them out for any power sports needs. Link is in the description. They don't just sell motorcycles. They sell side-by-sides. They sell quads, ski dudes, pontoons, a huge variety of bikes. They got a very big uh, service department and apparel, so you can get all your gear and all that stuff there. And they have nice specific rooms for specific brands. The Ducati one's very nice. The Triumph one's very nice. So if you're in the Pittsburgh area, go and check them out and they actually have another one they opened up a second one uh i'll put that in the description as well but what exactly are we looking at here this is a bmw ce4 this is a belt driven electric scooter and honestly at the time of filming that this uh first ride that's all i know about it but back at the lab we can do a little bit more stats so what i'd like to do is just give you a rundown of the quick basics um this is a very featured out uh scooter it's very electronic so there are a lot of internal features uh i'm not going to get to those in th this video for sake of length but if you would like to see that let me know in the comments and I will put that video together specifically for you. But as far as just regular store uh, specifications go, horsepower comes in at 42 at 4900 RPMs. Torque is 47 and a half at 1500 RPM. So it is very uh, torquey. I will say that uh, during the first ride, uh, it, it's, it's torquey. There's no lag time between combustion, right? It's electronic or electric rather. So, uh, it has a, an acclaimed 75 mile an hour, so realistically what this thing is for, commuting in uh, um, uh, cities and things like that, that's well above. Parkway, if you live in Pittsburgh, you know what I'm talking about. You could probably make that work. I mean, it says 75 mile an hour, but the range on this thing is 81 miles. And uh, speaking of uh, uh, electric and battery and all that, they do offer two different, um, it, it looks like charging uh, system so the first one you can charge it at a hundred and ten volts 15 amperes that is about five and a half hours for a full hundred percent charge four and a quarter hours will give you eighty percent after eighty percent from what I'm understanding the 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 scooter is not at one hundred percent capacity as far as giving you power and features and all that fun stuff the other charging is a 220 volt 30 ampere which cuts the time uh dramatically from five and a half to one hour 40 minutes for 100 percent charge just a little over an hour for that 80 percent charge it is a belt driven vehicle again so very smooth in the test ride i'm pretty sure i i mentioned that uh very uh very uh very smooth for for what it is the uh, tires the fronts are 120 70 r15s with the rear tire at 160 60 r15s so not a lot of tire going on there but the rear is bigger than the front that's generally how it goes so maybe that'll help with you know maintenance and all that stuff the front brakes are twin disc brake 165 millimeters four piston fixed calipers so uh it does have some stopping power i i did notice that and i'm pretty sure i mentioned it in the first in this first ride video so the front brakes are very nice it's weird because they're swapped that's the only thing that was weird for me the rear brake is a single disc brake single piston floating caliper with a diameter of 600 or 265 five excuse me so the uh the 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 seat height is 30.7 inches so almost 31 inches i could pretty much flat foot it but it is weird with how this thing is set up especially going from a motorcycle ninja 650 to be specific to this it was weird how the sit uh seat sits but you can pretty much flat foot it weight wise does come at 509 pounds so because it's got that big lithium battery it is a um it is uh, heavy in that aspect because you're you're going to compensate for that. But that is pretty much all I wanted to run down with this part of the video. We're going to go ahead and get into the first ride. Again, if you like this kind of content, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Holy crap. Oh, this is, oh, that is weird. It is super, 
uh, it feels like heavy up in the front. How do I turn this little thing on? Let's see. I don't know how to turn it on. This up? How do I turn? Is it on? I don't. I don't know if it's on. Okay. That's on. Okay, I gotta use this. It's fully automatic. It's on. Apparently. Uh, no clutch. So, which is the front brake and which is the rear brake? This is front. This is rear. Hey, Joel. I want to ask uh, Joel. Joel, this is the this is the guy you want to talk to. Hey, Joel, real quick. Which is this the rear brake and this is front brake? Front brake, rear brake. Front brake, rear brake. Yep. So it's reversed. Yep. Okay. That's gonna be weird. It's BMW, man. Yeah, that's weird. All right, cool. And it does have reverse as well. You won't kind of right through that today, but yeah, like I said, have fun. Yeah. And Enjoy this thing. It's going to be for sure. All right. All right, guys. That is Joel. Be sure to go see him if you're coming out to check this out. This is kind of a... I'm kind of nervous about it. I cannot flat foot it per se. Uh, no, I kind of can. Um, I think my legs are just kind of bunched up, but it's pretty light. Um, again, everything kind of feels like it's in the front of the motorcycle, though. And I got to get used to front brake rear brake it's swapped on me so this might be uh this actually might be one of the last uh rides of it somebody already fell i oh, fell oh that sucks hmm i guess that's why you sign a waiver all right hold up oh it's green yeah, it's, it's actually pretty easy to uh, to pr to maneuver. It's not the clutch. There is no clutch. The MV Agusta. You're gonna go in front of me, MV Agusta. Go ahead. Let's open this up. That's wild. I wish you didn't get in front of me, dude. That is wild though. <laughs> Acceleration. Okay, I'm getting a little okay. My feet are my feet are flat forward on the um on the uh the deck or whatever you want to call it. I guess technically that's me up there. Um let's get this situation all figured out. I'm passing. Sorry, dude. Uh yeah, but I'm I'm uh I'm flat-footed on it. I'm I'm pretty comfortable now. I'm, I'm actually pretty comfortable. Uh, it's a, like automatically. It's a the pass. It's like automatically in gear, uh, which is which is pretty insane. There's no no clutch. Just just get on and go. Just get on and go. It's so quiet. Oh, it's insane. It is insane. Um, I don't know, uh, okay, things that I don't necessarily like about the bike immediately. Um, I don't like these mirrors. I don't like how I don't really have a lot of visibility in the mirrors because they're like short little stubby mirrors. A lot of people make fun of Kawasaki because they got uh, big elephant ears or whatever. They serve a purpose. This, I can see the rider right behind me, but I really got to maneuver to see him. Um, the other side seems a little bit better. Maybe the maybe the mirror itself just needs adjusted, but uh, it it feels um, it feels very heavy in the front end. So it's not it's not flickable per se like all the other bikes and i think that's just because of the battery since this is electric the battery is probably super heavy there's probably some weight distribution things up in the front end of it uh so you can you you can definitely you can definitely feel that uh the response throttle response is pretty pretty freaking good um it seems to get up to speed they say it's pretty torquey i want to see how torquey it actually is but this is um this is a a wild a wild little thing uh 
-hmm. Yeah, that's a that's a fun torquey little little bike. Uh, it's super like my legs. Look at my legs. Can you see how my legs are? I can like close my legs because you're not sitting into the seat. You're kind of you're in that scooter position, which is very weird to have my my knees and my legs bent at such a um, orientation. Um, so that is a little a little strange but man it's pretty cool uh I'm, I'm gonna like go over this bike in particular uh a lot more in detail when we get back to the shop um because th this being a demo day i only had one bike scheduled and everything else is just whatever is open and this bike or scooter thing was open so i don't know any details about it i never even seen the thing until today but this is a bmw i don't know motorrad or maybe they just call it that i don't know it's a c something four c4 we're called explosive that's not the clutch i wanted to rev bomb but there's no clutch it's weird coming to a stop um i can i can flat foot it comfortably uh brake there's i don't have my rear brake here so i'm going forward i'm used to having that rear brake but uh yeah overall how's that how's that too much oh real aggressive really right forget what i was talking about i'm also kind of thinking about how i'm going to ride these twisties too because this is going to be totally different body position um but yeah it's a very smooth ride i mean this has that belt um it's got a belt instead of a chain system so it's super super smooth the suspension on this feels amazing it, it really does kind of feel like riding on a cloud if i'm being honest i don't have any rumbles obviously i don't have any sounds obviously i just have some decent torque to to kind of get me up to to the speed limit or whatever that guy next to me riding the MV Augusta said it's pretty aggressive. I want to ride that. That's, that's on the list. That is on the list. The, that bike that the, somebody dropped in the very beginning of the video, I think that was the Triumph Bobber that I'm going to ride tomorrow. Uh, I hope it's still available to ride. But yeah, what what a what an interesting little bike. I'm going to get off here and get back on whenever I'm on the twisties or whatever. So uh, we'll see. Uh, we'll see what happens. All right. Finally, I was having some issues with the with the battery. Sometimes I have to get it out. So a couple things that uh, that I notice on the bike, especially as we're uh, getting into these twisties, um, it's it's pretty easy to maneuver the bike around. It's it's not hard to maneuver around. It's just weird because I can like tap my knees together if that makes any sense. Um, and just that kind of like ergonomics really throws me off. And the, the upright position and really close to the, uh, to the handlebars, um, it also definitely makes for another weird uh, riding situation as far as like twisties and stuff like that goes. Whether, are you supposed to really take this thing on the twisties? Uh, probably i mean i don't see why not it um the engine braking is fairly good for what you need it to do you gotta watch out there's a lot of runoff and this stuff it it it, it moves around very nicely that situation right there where i kind of had to bob and weave it does maneuver uh decently it's just that all the weight is up in the front um, I accidentally hit a button up here and like was like messing with settings and I don't mean to do that But it'll tell you a lot of information on that heads-up display um, The mirrors is honestly the the biggest thing that I'm not a big fan of and also whenever I'm whenever I'm uh, At a light since you know, you always keep it in first uh, I have my foot on the brake, but there's no foot brake here. So it's a little weird this is fully pinned. I'm pinning it. And it's fully pinned. The brakes are pretty good. Uh, the the brakes uh, the brakes 
are adequate for the bike. They're good brakes, good bike, good brakes. I can't keep calling it a bike. I don't think it's a bike. I think it's a scooter. <laughs> but the, the brakes are nice. It's just weird that they're kind of swapped around. So, you know, if this is like your first bike, yeah, is this a first bike or scooter to have if you've never had one? Um, as far as rideability, 100%. Um, is it a good first bike as far as cost goes? If you got it like that, you got it like that. And if you're in the market for a, a scooter type thing, an automatic, this might be up your alley. Now they make a bigger one that I'm going to try and ride later on as well. Um, it seems like it's a little bit, <coughs> excuse me, more gore geared towards, um, towards, uh, whatchamacallit, touring. That was fully pinned again so it's not going to be the fastest bike it's, it's really not going to be the fastest bike and i'm almost kind of getting a little bit left behind uh i thought i was going to get left behind on the speed 400 but that bike was very torquey for what it was um this is still a lot of fun it's just a, a way different riding experience but riding it is easy it hits the turns very nice i don't feel like i'm gonna wash out or anything anything crazy like that the weight is perfectly fine i think that well i don't think i know that this bike has a lot of extra features like when you really get down into playing with this stuff it's it's gonna have so much information whenever i do the walk around video i'll try and get into that kind of stuff but um it's all good brother shake it off shake it off brother you're good you're good brother it's okay buddy They did go straight, right? Yeah, I go. I got to play catch up. Watch these roads, though. These are kind of where they got washed out. But uh, yeah, if you're worried about stalling or anything like that, you don't got to worry about stalling. It's a, uh, it's a quick little, nimble thing. It'll definitely get you well above the speed limit and get yourself a happy little ticket. So definitely be careful with that. Um, my overall general uh, experience with the bike, I like it. It's very unique. It's very different. I would never get one just because it's not uh, in my market for what I'm looking for in a bike and all that stuff. But if you are looking for like a nice scooter, like this would be very nice to whip around if you were like in downtown. Like this is definitely like a nice little city bike, something that's easy to get into traffic it's um yeah it, it's it's definitely good for that it looks like there's some charging ports and a couple other things on it it looks very um it looks very interesting like this all looks nice this here looks a little um i don't want i don't want to say boring because i'm not talking down on the bike it's just it's just very different um the the handlebars i don't know exactly what these are called but whenever we do the uh, other detailed looking at will go a lot more in detail with that but i don't know i think right now i'm just gonna finish up and enjoy enjoy the view first ride on this bmw electric scooter thing a am bob it's interesting it's it's definitely worth it's definitely worth a demo ride that's for sure this thing is fun i'm having such a good time at this uh at this demo event i'm real glad that i took the day off um if you have any questions about this bike please feel free to leave them in the comments um i will do my best to answer them i'm not an expert per se uh well i can't say per se i'm not an expert at all this is also what's very weird is how slanted this is like there's no tank it's just very open and it's, it's very weird um but leave any questions that you might have down in the comments or whatever and i will do my best to answer them and again if you are in the pittsburgh area check out mosaides i mean they really are a great a great company they put on great events like this this is all their bikes like these aren't like demo demo bikes these are their motorcycles so that's very nice of them for doing such a nice thing and letting people take these beautiful 
European motorcycles out. Again, this is a demo day. I got a lot more bikes to ride and uh, yeah, I hope that this was insightful or at least interesting and for my uh, my viewers, the the OGs, it's something different, right? It's it's definitely different than what you're used to on the channel. I'm a I'm a super excited about it. I do like where my feet position's at too. Like I can, it's such a long running board that I can either have it up or uh, further away. Slow speed maneuvers, very easy. Don't got to worry about stalling. Just get right back on it, and there you go. Open her up a little bit. Get the leans in. What them leans do? I gotta watch out for the tires. That's right. Watch out for the tires. All right, guys. Maybe I'll uh, record a little bit more through this. Get you guys some scenery. If not, and I decide to cut it short, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, like, share, and subscribe, and uh, hit the hit the notification bell if you want to see what bikes are upcoming because I do polls and I'm definitely going to be doing polls on which bikes you want to see after they're all filmed I'll create a, a set of uh, polls to vote on which videos come out next I'm hoping to ride like seven or eight different bikes if not more so we will see what happens but thank you guys again for watching and I will see you in the next one